We're using Calyrex Ice Horse, Ice Rider. I think it's really fucking good. It's really fucking strong, obviously. Can take super effective hits. We have a Grim Snarl with Covert Cloak for screen support, which is supposed to help me activate my weakness policy while potentially setting up a uh, Trick Room. It's also got Parting Shot. It also has Spirit Break. I was going to go for Sucker Punch, but I feel like... Um, it's usually paired with NDD. I kind of do like Sucker Punch, though, because I have Rillaboom on this team, so I could cancel out Terrain and then Sucker Punch a Calyrex. Um, but that does lose to Follow Me anyways, so I just think Spirit Break is more consistent. Um, we've got Oranguru and Ursaluna, the two normal types. Those are really good leads into Calyrex teams because Calyrex kind of can't touch them, which enables me to set up Trick Room, maybe Instruct... I'm also considering swapping Citrus Berry for a Mental Herb, uh, just because, like, it loses to Taunt. But we're Terra Dark, so if it's a Prankster Taunt, that's fine. We can get around that. But also, with Terra Dark, we one-hit KO Calyrex with Foul Play. So, um, we also got Focus Sash Fluttermane as a third Trick Room setter. We have three Trick Room setters on this team, so it's very likely for us to get it set up, um... And with Fluttermane, they generally don't expect it. Well, they probably do on this team, but it is a hard Trick Room team. Also, um, Clear Amulet Rillaboom with High Horsepower and Terra Water for the Incineroars. Um, yeah. Alright, Kyogre team. I have not actually faced a Kyogre team. So it's Rain, looks like Hurricane and Thunder on the Zapdos. That's a little bit scary. Hmm, I feel like you could just lead for Regiraffe and Kyogre, and that's a pretty strong lead into me, to be honest. I'm going to lead with my Grim Snarl. I can get up Guaranteed Light Screen, which is going to help me a lot, I think. And probably a Flutter Main would be really good just to set up the Trick Room. It could be Scarf Kyogre. And they might want to reverse my Trick Room, to be honest. Um... Because I don't want to get intimidated with Calyrex first thing, right? Um... Who am I leading with? I do like the Flutter Main, I think. Try to get up the Trick Room early. We're in Calyrex, and probably Rillaboom looks, looks strong here, I think. Let's see what happens. We'll get up our screens. We don't have Light Clay, by the way. I figured most games don't last long enough for it to really matter, and Covert Cloak is just more valuable to make sure I get the screens. Okay, there's the Kyogre. That's kind of what I was expecting. Okay, so I can light screen here for free and probably just set up Trick Room. I'm hoping it's a Choice Scarf. I do want the Trick Room, though. Let's see Choice Scarf. I guess it's not going to be revealed this turn, right? Nice, we actually live that. Get my Trick Room. I do think you're Scarf. If you went for that move, I think you're Scarf. So, I should actually outspeed that. So I can Spirit Break on this, because I think you're targeting... Like, I think you're knocking off Fluttermane. Which, I, I think that's fine. I'm not sure I need the Fluttermane anymore. We just want to get in Calyrex. Uh, yeah. So you can take my, uh, Flutter Maiden. That's fine. Okay. Are you Choice Scarf? Yeah, whatever. Nice special attack drop. That looks like a very bulky Kyogre. Uh, and no Choice Scarf. That's interesting.
Okay, so... I wasn't quite expecting... Well, I guess I don't know what else I expected to happen. But I can tear a water here. Um... And just, like, wood hammer. Let's see, what do we what do we do here? I can't go for Grassy Glide until the fucking giraffe is gone. I do believe I'm terra watering here. There is an incineroar. How do I catch the incineroar? I don't think I Terra yet. Let's well, just high horsepower, because you're locked into Water Spout. I want to try and catch this Incineroar, but I don't know how that's possible. I think we're going to high horsepower on this slot, and Wood Hammer on this slot. Ah, oh, I called it wrong. Okay. Unfortunate. But I didn't Terra, which is going to let him... Like, hopefully he wants to knock me off or something. Or even Snarl. That's a tiny Incineroar. Why is it so small? Still does so much fucking damage, by the way. He reverses my Trick Room. Yeah. Activate my Policy, bitch. I'm just gonna wood hammer this slot again and glacial lance so that you can't like No, I should probably high horsepower it. Cause if you want to prevent my trick room you need to Bake out, right? So we're taking the Incineroar down. They could Terra. They probably do Terra here, right? No, okay. Interesting. So I get a single target. Oh, you almost foul played, um... I mean, that would have done a lot. So I guess we're terra watering now. I want to Terra Water, Trick Room, and Wood Hammer the Furry Giraffe. That seems like a pretty good play to me, honestly. I really need Rillaboom to, like, clutch out here. Terra Water? Terra Grass, oh. Okay, whatever. I don't think he's going to like the outcome of that. Clear Amulet had a lot of value in this game. I like that on Rillaboom. Nice, we take that pretty easily. Get a nice wood hammer on that motherfucking Fury Giraffe. Doesn't quite KO, fuck. Okay. Completely fine. Completely fine. We're gaming here. Bitch, we're fucking gaming. Your range just ended. I think my terrain ends. Rillaboom's a little bit useless at the moment, though, which is kind of awkward, but... We literally just Glacial Lance. And you have no switch into that, so... I just don't know what to do with Rillaboom at the moment. It's very, very useless. We lose to Rillaboom in the back, of course. Are we dead to Grassy Glide? Well... I don't know, we might be dead to Grassy Glide. I guess we just Wood Hammer the Kyogre. Okay. So probably 
trying to get Rillaboom in, I'm guessing. But I do get my attack boost back, so I'm at neutral. Which probably means I one-hit KO that Kyogre. But also quite interesting, he's not choice-locked into anything. There's the Rillaboom. Okay. Let's protect and wood hammer. So we can get another turn of terrain. Also, the terrain will end, which means no more grassy glide, right? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. I think that'll work. Wood hammer so that we can make sure uh, Glacial Lance will kill it. Kyogre is not a huge issue for me right now. I think its damage output is relatively limited against Glastrier. Great damage. There's that clear amulet. Okay, you can take my uh, Kyogre now. Whatever it's called. Rillaboom. Okay, Glacial Lance. Like, terrain's over. Glacial Lance. Is it just gonna double KO? Kyogre might survive, but it's not gonna do enough damage, I don't think. Let's see. They have to hit Thunder. I also don't know if it kills me. I don't think protecting was the right play. Cuz... There's only one turn left of Trick Room, so theoretically you could double protect, but like... Uh, I still don't think you do enough damage. Even if you thunder me, I, I'm pretty sure I live at this point. Cool. I told y'all, you're using the wrong horse. This Pokemon is bulky as fuck. I have a lot of special defense investment too. Um, what's my set? 212 HP, 132 attack with Brave Nature, and 164 defense. That's, um, so for like the light screen calcs, that helps a lot with Miraidon and Calyrex Shadow. Okay, Groudon team. This is pretty scary. But I do think it's possible to get up terrain. I mean, Trick Room. It might require faking out the Tornadus, though, to be honest. Because otherwise you can just taunt, which is a huge problem. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't want you to just taunt. So we'll go with these two, which honestly look pretty strong with my Focus Sash. Kylyrex in the back, obviously, which just one-hit KOs everything on this team. Oranguru? I don't know if I want to bring Oranguru in the back. I guess Ursaluna is okay. Like, if we get the Trick Room up, it's great. We need to get the Trick Room up, though. Groudon Tornadoes. That's honestly great. I feel like you're gonna Tailwind Precipice Blades. Or just Heat Crash or something. Is it Covert Cloak? I feel like you're Terra Fire Tailwind, right? I feel like that's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna fake out anyways. We'll Trick Room. Is that a crit? Oh, beautiful. beautiful. This is amazing. Alright, so what do I do with Rillaboom here? I 
think I just let Fluttermane go down at this point, and probably, like, you're gonna Terra. Should I try to ho high horsepower the Groudon? I don't see a reason to Terra Rillaboom, honestly. Like, we shouldn't be dead to Bleak Wind. I'm gonna Woodhammer this. And Moonblast this. I don't feel like Groudon is a huge threat. If you Terra Fire or Terra Steel, Ursaluna beats that. So I think I'd rather double into this knowing you're not protecting. It looks like he's only taking one Pokemon down with him. Oh, I have a speed boost. Okay, I am slower than that. That's great. We do Ursa Luna here. I really want to get my... Oh, and that's ideal, I think. He is going to be slower than me. Let's Hyper Voice. And uh, Protect, maybe. Got two turns? Three turns left, period. Yeah, let's Hyper Voice and Shadow Ball, just to make sure that you're not going to Trick Room. Fluttermane can go down, but I just don't want you to Trick Room. Special attack booster. I'm not sure that we live the Moonblast. But that's fine, because then Calyrex will get to come in, right? Please tell me you went for Dazzling Gleam. Oh, beautiful. Do we live? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. We're gaming. We're literally fucking gaming, because I get to bring in Calyrex now. And you can't tear the Groudon. Which might even be a Salt Vest, honestly. He hasn't protected once. It's like, pretty safe to just Hyper Voice in Glacial Lance, isn't it? I don't see what could go wrong. Truthfully. And I get both KOs. This is ideal. I'm at plus two now. With one turn left of Trick Room. Calyrex is at full HP, which means I might be able to protect in Trick Room. Maybe I should put some special defense on my, uh, Ursa Luna, just to, like, make sure that Moonblast won't kill me. I should calc if that was Specs or not. Yeah, this thing cannot fucking beat me. I still have Terra, don't I? So I can Terra Water next turn. Yeah, just Blood Moon and, uh, Glacial Lance. Yeah, li literally so fine. I just Terra Water Trick Room. Because I do believe a Terrifier Flamethrower is going to, like, destroy me, right? Thank you for following. I don't see how this can go wrong. Even if you burn me, I'm at plus two, so like... That flamethrower was never killing me anyways, by the way. It would have done four times that amount of damage. So yeah, we Blood Moon and we Glacial Lance. Protect if you want to, I don't care. 
Amazing. Plus one Blood Moon. I love that Throat Spray on this this uh, bear. Another Zamazenta team. Have to be smarter about that this time, but I believe Fluttermane and Ogre Pond and Tyranitar. Actually, Zamazenta can get Taunt, right? What's my play here? Or what's my lead, I guess? Uh, Reflect looks quite good. He has his own screens. Kind of a problem. I am afraid of Taunt, I think. Which makes me want to lead with Rillaboom. Also threatens most of the things that could come out up front. And I want to say Fluttermane. Yeah. I guess that's alright. Ursa Luna? Yeah, I think that's good for the Zamazenta. We might need that. I lost really bad to Zamazenta just now. It's Iron Tread. Well, are you Booster Energy? Because then I will be able to fake out Trick Room. No Booster Energy. Let's just fake out in Trick Room anyways. I expect Shadow Ball maybe into my Flutter. Oh. Prison, Trick Room, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast? No Protect, right? I'm gonna just Wood Hammer and Protect, I think, and see what happens here. Because we could potentially still get up the, um... Oh, okay. We could potentially still get up Trick Room. This thing just dies. Probably Iron Head here. Ice Spinner. Okay. Well, that's fine. You should still die, right? Okay. My Focus Ash breaks, unfortunately. I do feel like my Grassy Terrain could be useful, though. I'm gonna switch to this. It's kind of Risky, I feel like. But we'll just get some damage on both of them, so we can maybe potentially Hyper Voice KO. At this point, take the Flutter Main. It's not setting up Trick Room, most likely. Great damage. We take that pretty well, to be honest. And a Rock Slide, okay, perfect. And we actually live that. Did... Oh, I guess that makes sense. It was, like, spread 75. Okay. So... I'm just gonna Hyper Voice, I think. And Shadow Ball that again. We will be outsped by Tyranitar, though. But you have to choose a KO. I swear to god. I swear to god. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Outplayed. What can I say? But... We can bring in this. Honestly, with Terra Water, though, we might be okay. I'm tempted to protect and let my Rillaboom go down here. If 
I can get um, Ursaluna plus Calyrex up. Oh, that does a lot too. Mr. Rock Slide, pussy ass bitch. Citrus Berry. How interesting. I can't have them both activate my weakness policy because I'd probably die to Shadow Ball plus Rock Slide. So, I think I should Terra Water. Did I just protect last turn? I think so. We will Hyper Voice and we will Terra Water and Trick Room. So, no weakness policy, unfortunately, but. That's fine. Cause yeah, you're you're dead now, so I just get to trick room anyways. Right? The nice thirty percent chance. It's fine though, Zamazenta's not beating this, right? Because the thing is, you have to flinch me again. Terra Stellar. You're gonna body press me? I mean, is a bad matchup for this team, but I wasn't expecting to see so many of them. If you flinch me again, I swear to fucking god. Okay, period. That's literally fine. So I get to Blood Moon that, and just Glacial Lance. Or, yeah, Glacial Lance. Hyper Voice should kill the Tyranitar. Hyper Voice and Horsepower. Nice. Which forces you to choose a KO. Oh, I literally thought I just missed. Yeah, I'm not sure if we win this interaction. I really wish I could have protected on that turn in Glacial Lanced. I would have had an attack boost and everything. But honestly... Do you kill me with body press? I feel like maybe not. Nope, okay. So, I should have turns left. Need to see if Lance will kill, or if I need to risk the 5% miss, because I will fucking lose because of the miss. Glacial Lance does 12 to 15. So I have to horsepower. Period. Okay. I could have missed, but... Oh, and you know what? It is single target, actually. So 16.5 to 20. We probably killed, actually. Is this taking into account? Yeah, plus one defense. Another Kali Ice Team. That's terrifying, because I know how strong it is. I do have this, which is pretty strong, into a lot of these Pokemon. And I do want the Trick Room. How do I get that? I really like Reflect here. Reflect and also Parting Shot is pretty strong, so we'll bring my Glastrier. Do we want Rillaboom over Glash? No, it's Sapsipras. Fuck. I don't want that. Um... And their only Trick Room setter is Calyrex, so they might not even be trying to get it. Oh, 
Okay, it's an easy reflect. Very easy reflect. I feel like you're gonna set up the trick room, honestly. I'm gonna just let you do it. Not upper hand. It has to be a priority attacking move. Okay. And he didn't go for it, so I'm just gonna... Fluttermane can go down. Let's get damage on this, and I don't know if we should parting shot, but we could just parting shot into Glass Streamer, I feel like, honestly. Yeah, let's try that. He's got a Terra. Probably away from the psychic typing. Terra ground. Okay. Period. <laughs> but I can just protect and trick room here, right? And then Terra Normal on the next turn. We do have Reflect. Nice weakness policy activation. And this should be a Glacial Lance, to be honest. Okay, well that's amazing. So now I Terra Normal, which makes me live the Glacial Lance. Oh. Glacial Lance. So I live this Glacial Lance and I just Hyper Voice, I think. Speed Tide's a bit of a problem, but I don't think it's going to matter. Because I have Reflect. Like, High Horsepower shouldn't be killing me, I don't think. I don't know. It could go several ways, I guess. That's honestly okay, I feel like. Do you protect? Because that could be a bit of a problem. I'm still hitting you with Terra Normal Hyper Voice. Plus... Uh, plus one Glacial Lance. But it's Incineroar, it's probably gonna fucking live. Speed tie. Uh oh. Come on, reflect. Period. Okay. And that should be game. Because I'm back at plus two. I have enough turns of trick room to probably double protect on this turn for the fake out. I'm just gonna double check, but I should have three turns left. Ophelia. Is that Ogre Pond? Um, okay. I think that's okay. I protect here. And I can Earth Power at plus one. Plus gl Glacial Lance after Fake Out. Let me check my turns. Nice, I have three turns left. We should be good here. Shouldn't my Calyrex be slower? 
Did I? Did I join something wrong? Period. He didn't go for the shelter or like iron defense or whatever, so the double up should just kill. Reflect is gone. I don't think that matters. No more Terra for you, either. The Glacial Lance should kill Incineroar or whatever. Like, no matter what. Plus one Earth Power, just straight up one hit KOs. And then I get another attack boost. Plus one more turn of Trick Room, by the way. And the, um... Okie Doki is gonna have to... I don't believe it can double target, so I think it's unlosable at this point. Which is great. Got a pretty good track record with this team. Okay. I guess they're just fucking around, who knows. Terrapagos. I don't believe I've faced the Terrapagos yet. Wow, they've got screens too. They're gonna try to set up Belly Drum on that whale. I think I like the Fluttermain lead with my screens, probably. I don't see how they're preventing that. They can prevent Trick Room that way if they want to, but with my screens, I think it's fine. Do I want this or Rillaboom? I'm pretty sure I want this. Is that true? Yeah. I think so. Because with Terra Normal, we live like a plus six Ice Shard. I don't know. This is kind of a scary team. It's very, very bulky. It's going to be hard to break through, I feel like. Grimmsnarl and Ninetales. Are you kidding? Okay, well, I'm going to Trick Room, and I'm just going to Parting Shot the Ninetales. Parting Shot? I think, yeah. So I don't get screens up yet, but I'm not really threatened yet. Exactly what I knew was going to happen, and he's just going to Aurora Veil. But we get to see what he brings in. Into the Titan. Okay. But, you're Slush Rush, so I'm pretty sure Fluttermane will outspeed you in the Trick Room. And I can also go to this right now. Um, I don't think you can activate my policy, though. But, like, this isn't safe. I kind of want to switch back to... Grimmsnarl right now and try to get up screens. Belly Drum is so bad here. Okay. I know what he was going for, but I think he forgot about the negative priority. I'm just gonna go to this and... Like, literally, what do I do here? Although, he still has not gone for Aurora Veil. So I guess we start chipping. I don't fucking know. Okay, what's this? Grimmsnarl. Look at that. So you're taking a lot of damage. At the very least. Amazing damage, wow. I really want you to Sucker Punch. I'm gonna Reflect. And... I don't know, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. It's kind of a problem for me right now.
really wish you could activate my policy, and I don't think you can. Like, nobody's taking any damage right now, right? I mean, I have to chip away at this somehow. Technically, this isn't resisted. But it's basically doing resisted damage. At minus one, too. Could I have switched to Fluttermane? Okay. Yeah, it is Belly Drum. I do have Focus Sash Fluttermane, though. And... Reflect. So I think we're just attacking to make sure it's in range of... If you don't get a KO here, so Titan should die, right? Ice Shard, I'm not sure, is gonna do it. Like, do you protecting? Ultra guys. Oh, I see. I forgot about that ability. Interesting. Okay. But I really want you to shadow ball me is what I want. I can try to get you to shadow ball, yeah. Snow's gone. That's pretty good. Trick Room is gone also. What do I do? Do I Trick Room again? I'm gonna Trick Room again, I think. You're gonna activate my policy and then I can attack you after that. But he could just switch out and get the hospitality again. Focus Ash Fluttermane is my saving grace here. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna do enough. Please just Shadow Ball me. Okay, that's great news. So you can Ice Shard me here if you want. I'm still on cord, so I have to... Okay, that's fine. No more hospitality is great news. And an attack boost. Am I at plus one or plus two? I believe I can reflect again this turn, right? I'm gonna reflect and protect on your parting shot. Am I at plus two? Neutral. Oh, I forgot about the parting shots. Yeah, I think I'm protecting and going to Fluttermane. Because you're just going to Ninetales, right? So I can block that at least this turn. Just Earthquake.
What is that? Nice. Okay. Grimmsnarl is going down, right? That means I have my Reflect, and I get the Snow Defense Boost again. I'm pretty sure Fluttermane can do this. I'm not sure if Ursaluna was the better play. Yeah, let's Moonblast this motherfucker, and Glacial Lance this motherfucker. Let's see what happens. Nice. Uh oh. Wait. Are you gonna Aurora Bell or Blizzard? Perfect. Okay. I think I win because of that. This does a lot of damage. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. That's all I needed. That's what I needed to win. I'm so glad that we found our way around that motherfucker. That was a very difficult Pokemon to beat. And I have one turn left of Trick Room, so I just protect here and attack. So I can Moonblast next turn. Except when I get imprisoned. Alright, I think we're switching to random battles right now. That was a lot of fun though, I had a lot of fun playing those games. And I'm definitely going to be playing more later.